So guys, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is perform D3161. Pretty simple test. We're gonna loosen a shingle. We are gonna use the speed square and we're gonna move the shingle to 90 degrees. Check the shingle after we actually lift the shingle to 90 degrees to see if there's any brittleness or fracture within the mat or loss of granules. And with that, let's go ahead and loosen up a shingle here. The second layer roof, usually like I said, the the mentions that this would not be um, even warrantable because you can't really repair a second layer roof, uh, at least to insurance standards. So you guys saw speed square was on the shingle, shingle got lifted and raised. Usually you want to do this right in the area where you're going to be repairing, which is exactly where this is. It's just a few feet from where we're going to be repairing. And as this shingle got lifted, it was a complete fracture. The shingle is no longer functioning. It, it broke. Um, pretty much in half. Uh, we'll go ahead and make a temporary repair to this shingle, but really what the evidence we're looking at right here is that this roof is not repairable. We would not be able to perform a repair of shingles um, placed in this area because it would break shingles that would be adjacent or around the area. So what we would submit to the insurance company uh, for the, on behalf of this homeowner is that we would not be able to repair this shingle. ASTM says that we can't repair this shingle. And, and we've got the evidence right here. Um, so glad you guys tuned in. Uh, repair is gonna be pretty simple. Got some high grade roofing cement. And this is a temporary repair. You wanna hit the nail right below the shingle with some sealant. Probably hit a little bit just to make sure it's held good along the along the the line of, of mastic or sealant and then you'll want to just hit the top portion where it fractured with a little sealant and then smooth it out so this owner won't have any chance at having roof leaks and this fractured shingle can stay in place you might even want to hit the union up above so that there's no chance that that shingle can have water get in there which this is a great temporary repair there's really no manufacturer that's going to say this is an acceptable long-term repair which is kind of a little bit more evidence to be able to discuss but that's basically how you perform d3161 you figure out if the shingle is going to break when you bend it back and if it does you've got a shingle that can't be repaired thank you guys so much for tuning into this uh this video on d3161 and uh, check out ASTM's website we'll post some stuff from our from our website to talk about this test a little bit more so y'all can take a look at that. Knoxville, Asheville, thanks. Call us if you guys have any roofing needs or roof repairs. Appreciate it.